afternoon. I'm Dr. Himani Goyal. We're here in the eye clinic at Coney Island Hospital. Um, today we're going to go over how to make Autologous Serum Teardrop. So first we'll go over the supplies that we'll need. Um, gloves in the appropriate size, of course. Um, we have a tourniquet here uh, for the patient and a vacutainer to collect the blood into the tubing. Now the number of tubes and the size uh, really depends on how much serum tears you're going to make. We will be making a 25% solution and we'll only be providing a 15 ml or actually it'll be a 16 ml um, bottle supply for our patient today just for educational purposes. Um, and uh, we have alcohol pads, a band-aid, and also a 4x4 um, for the blood dot part of it. We'll be carrying our blood supply tubes uh, to the chemistry lab in the biohazard Ziploc bag. And we also have, just in the background there, a BSS bottle, and um, that's a retrobulbar needle there to um, create the serum tears later on. Here we are. Um... We actually have Dr. Michael Dottila, who's been brave enough to volunteer as our patient today, and Dr. Frank Sai, who's also going to be assisting us. All right, so first things first, um, we've got our arm prepped here for the blood draw. The uh, clothes are out of the way. Um, we're gonna go ahead and just put on a tourniquet, um, nice and tight here. Mm -hmm. Gloves on, have you pump your fist there for me? <clears throat> Some nice strong muscles, yeah? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Let's take it away. I'm going to look for some easy axis here. Uh -huh. So, you know, we could go up here, but I, I think I'm really liking these veins in your hand here. Okay, uh -huh. so we're going to go ahead and clean that area. Very good veins here. <laughs> go ahead and open this. We have our vacutainer 25 gauge. Um, we're going to hold it, the butterfly part of it. We're going to take the cover off and we're going to expose the needle there. I'm just going to go ahead and place that out of my way. And um, so here we go. You're gonna feel a little prick, I'm sorry. And we're good. So here we release the tourniquet, tourniquet prematurely. It's okay. actually better to keep the tourniquet in really place steady. until you're done collecting your blood specimen. While we uh, fill these tubes with blood, we're just gonna take two. So here we are on our second. Um, you know, keep in mind that you also want to do serology on our patients. The recommended serology, you want to check for hepatitis C virus, uh, hepatitis B, and HIV and syphilis. So those are the recommended uh, four serologies that you want to get on your patients beforehand um, <clears throat> to make sure that they're clean. Sure to label these appropriately um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do that and take these up to the lab and we will turn this video back on once we get upstairs. All right. Hi, so we're here at the chemistry lab. This is our lab technician Danuta who's been very Hello. gracious enough to receive our blood samples. We 
gave her a call before we headed over to see if she'd be willing to centrifuge our blood for us, and she was accepting nicely. Um, and so here we are with our labeled tubes in separate bags for all different patients, and then is now going to take this over and label it herself. In our experience, it's best to allow the blood to clot within the test tube for a full 15 minutes before centrifuge. We recommend centrifuging at 3000 G for another full 15 minutes. This allows for the best separation of red blood cells from the serum and allows to harvest the most serum possible. Now, in our video, the technician actually collected the serum for us. This can be achieved easily by using a sterile pipette to reach into the test tubes. So we're back um, in our clinic now. We've set up to actually use the serum, which was actually already nicely separated from the blood by our lab tech, um, and make our diluted serum eye drops. So here's what we have. Um, because the serum's already been diluted, we actually have a sterile specimen cup here. It's um, no fluid, nothing. We're gonna put the serum into the cup so we can then draw it up into a syringe. Um, first, we're going to um, take uh, three cc's out of our BSS bottle, it's a 15 ml BSS bottle, we'll take three cc's out and discard it so we can go ahead and add four cc's of our serum to make a 25% solution. Um, and then we are ready with our ice pack and another Ziploc bag so that we can send our patient on home with the eye drops uh, on ice. To maintain so optimum sterility, we recommend performing the bench. rest of this compounding technique so under a sterile use, hood. Just go ahead and put our uh, needle onto the syringe so that we can take out three cc's of BSS from our 15 ml bottle. <clears throat> it's nice to have this long retro bulbar needle so that we can reach into the bottle. so that we have 12 cc's of BSS left. Let's just make sure that we have three here. Very good, so exactly three cc's we're taking out. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just dump that. Excellent. Now I'm gonna just cover this for a second. You wanna be careful with that needle there. Um, so that now we can actually pour our serum into the sterile container. Um, so the reason why we want to take it out of this tube and put it into a larger container is because it's quite hard to reach all the way down to the bottom of this. You need a quite long needle to get all the way there. So it'll actually just make it a lot easier if we can put it into something that has a larger mouth, larger, larger opening there. All right, and now we're gonna take four cc's of our serum, and we will add it to the 12 cc's of BSS. Let's see here, let me just see if I can show you the way I'm holding it, just so that you can see I'm gonna to try to get as much of this as I can. And now you can see what the advantage is also of having this nice long needle. Um, small gauge and just get right up in there. Good. So we've got all that and we'll see. I have a little bit extra but since you want to stick to a certain concentration you know of course you're going to vary this uh, dilution formula depending on how concentrated you want um, the serum to be for your patient. So we've got all of our air bubbles out. I'm just going to bring it down to 4 cc's and make sure that we're right there. Now this might drip a little bit, so I want to just be careful. All right, and then we're just going to go ahead and squirt that in. So the BSS bottles are actually made larger than 15 ml, so they can actually hold uh, more than 15 ml. So even though we're going to make a total of 16 ml of fluid here, if the patient is going to be storing this in the freezer. There should be plenty of room for expansion 
um, so that the bottle doesn't burst. We're gonna go ahead and top that bottle. Now, you wanna keep this on ice, so we're actually ready here with our ice pack. We're just gonna, we're just gonna burst the inside, shake it up, get this in nice and cold so that we can feed a, a convenient pouch for our patients to take this home in. All right, so we're just gonna wrap that up nicely. And we'll go ahead and put it in a bag. And that should keep, you know, for about an hour or so of traveling time and the patient can keep it in the fridge or put it in the freezer when they get home. Thanks so much.